Ooh, I have a long one for you today about Kate Middleton. There is a lot going on within the royal family, and there is going to be so much information that is released in this video that you guys are just going to have to buckle up. There's so many different things that we need to tackle in this because from the last video that I filmed until now, I have found so much new information and new things that were not included in that. So we're gonna go all over the place. I could be that annoying person that breaks it up into multiple videos, but I'm not gonna do that today, you guys. I'm gonna give you a full video going over everything that I have found. And uh, we're just gonna be bouncing all over the place in this video, so definitely keep watching because there is some jaw-dropping moments that we need to talk about. One of the most mind-blowing things that I wanna mention in this video is Kate Middleton's uncle is currently on Celebrity Big Brother UK, which if you do not know, this is a show that gets live-streamed, okay? And someone who is on Big Brother by the name of Ekin Sue, who was on Love Island UK, she asks Kate Middleton's uncle, where's Kate? And he answers. Now this is Kate Middleton's mom's brother, okay? So he, he knows what's going on. And I find his response to be very interesting. We're gonna be talking about that. I'm going to also be showing you that clip. We are also going to be going over some of the TikTokers that I feel are spreading misinformation as fact that I find to be disturbing and upsetting, especially if you claim to care about Kate. I don't know why people are doing this, but we're gonna be talking about some of the rumors that are going around that I'm currently seeing that I feel like are fueling the Kate Spiracies and there's just a lot. So let's go ahead and get into it because this video is gonna be very long. But if you did not watch my last video on this situation, definitely make sure you check it out because I do a breakdown of the complete timeline from the last time that Kate was seen up until what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So if you don't know anything that it's been going on, that is the video to watch because it tells you every last detail of everything with dates and timestamps to give you a good flow of the entire situation. Because I feel like with everybody putting out so much information right now and there's false information, well, I mean, we don't even know what's true or isn't true. With all of the information that's come out, it has been really hard to follow. So that is the video that you wanna watch if you wanna understand everything up until this point. So I'll link it up there and I will also link it down there. And if you do watch it, make sure you come back to this one because there is some jaw dropping things that I wanna talk about. So since this video is gonna be very long, let's go ahead and get into it. Because the royal family has released little to no information information in response to how huge this has gotten, people are speculating even more. Now, in my last video, I talked about an article that was released um, by a Spanish reporter who said that Kate was in a coma and they had inside information. I'm not saying I believe that, I'm just saying. I talked about that in a previous video. They released a statement in response to that, basically saying that that was completely ludicrous. So with that, I definitely have questions about why they haven't responded to anything else or even just put something out saying that Kate is safe and that she's totally fine and well. That has been the thing that I think has been one of the most concerning things to me is that they haven't said anything. I mean, at the end of the day, people just wanna know that she's safe. And the fact that they can't even give that makes you wonder why. So I wanna mention this. There is apparently this tabloid that was released in the UK from The Sun, but apparently it has been going around that Kate was seen in public with William. But get this, there are no videos and no pictures to show that she was actually in public because apparently everyone that saw them in public just completely respected their privacy and didn't take any pictures, which is wonderful. And I love that for them because here in America, that would not happen. There would definitely be several people taking pictures. But being from America, it's hard for me to believe that nobody took a picture at all and sold it because that would go for a lot of money. and. Um, maybe they're just more respectful, which is very possible. But let's watch this video where they're talking about how Kate was seen out and about happy and healthy. I'm here outside the Windsor Farm Shop where on Saturday the Prince and Princess of Wales were seen together uh, getting some shopping. They were seen by onlookers who described them as happy uh, and said Kate in particular was looking very healthy. It's obviously the first time Kate has properly been seen in public since Christmas Day. She's been out of action 
uh, after she underwent some abdominal surgery. The Kensington Palace said that she'd be out uh, until after Easter, but in recent weeks there's been wild speculation and conspiracies online about Kate's health, where she is. And so Onlucky said their, their outing today really put those rumours to bed. It's just a short walk from where they're staying in Adelaide Cottage, but they left the kids at home to enjoy some time together. That is so hard for me to believe that they just walked outside in the fresh air when there's magnifying glasses on them galore where people are trying to figure out if she's even okay and they just went out and about like normal and not one person took a photo. It just seems like a fake story. Like a lot of these seem like fake stories. Even the ones with theories about what's going on with her seem fake, but this one does not feel genuine. What do you guys think? Do you think she was actually seen there? Because I don't think so. But it's strange that they're all of a sudden coming out with all these news stories that she was seen and she's alive and she's well. And then what they're attaching to these articles are old photos. But if you don't know to dig, if you don't know what you're looking at, you would see a picture like this one here and think, oh, look, she's out and about. They completely misled the public with these photos and this article because it, upon first glance, it makes it look like those pictures were taken that day and she looks totally fine. Those pictures are not from this year. They're from 2022. And in this article, they never claim that these pictures are from the day that she was seen. But for people who don't know to look a little deeper, it could be incredibly misleading. And so when you see things like this come out, you can't help but wonder, are they trying to convince people that everything's fine when nobody's actually even seen her? Like, why would these articles even come out? Because it's not helping people's theories and speculation on if she's okay or not when you're just releasing an article saying she was seen, she's okay, but there's nothing to show that she was seen. Like, apparently people said that she seemed very happy and very healthy. Why are there no pictures of that then? And if that is also true, then it, kills the theory that her face is swollen from medication that she's on from the abdominal surgery, which is what some people are saying is the case. It's just unusual that there's this much spotlight on them about just show that she's okay, but she looks so healthy enough to go shopping, but not to produce an image that isn't heavily edited to show that she's okay. It is weird. Now, this is very interesting because as I am filming this video, it turns out that there was a video and footage that was released of Kate and William at this farm that just got posted by TMZ. So as you can see here, it shows the two of them um, walking. You'll see them in just a minute when they come past this car. So as you can see, they are right there. There is a lot of people around that don't appear to be filming it, but there was some footage of it after all. It says the Kate Middleton sighting that got reported on this week is real after all, because a new video of her during this outing has surfaced and TMZ's got the first look. TMZ has obtained a clip that was taken of Kate Saturday while she and Prince William were visiting a business about a mile from their home in Windsor known as the Windsor Farm Shop, where the Sun reported eyewitnesses saw them out and about this past weekend. Onlookers felt she looked happy, relaxed, and healthy as she strolled in the store, a supermarket of sorts, and the couple didn't seem to have a care in the world. The three kids weren't with them, but the Sun also claimed that they spent the first part of their Saturday watching the children play sports. At first, there was no real evidence to back up the report, but now the first actual visual of her here has surfaced, and it's 100% her. As you see in this footage obtained by TMZ, Kate looks relaxed in casual athletic wear, rocking an all black look with some pink trimming. Her gait is strong, a good sign given her purported abdominal surgery. PW is right by her side as they walk out of the farm shop with bags in hand. Nobody around looks to be bothering them and Kate sure enough does indeed look pretty cheerful here, smiling wide and even carrying a conversation with her husband. One of the eyewitnesses who saw them, Nelson Silva says, I noticed a couple choosing loaves of bread in the woman turned her face and I felt like I had seen her before. It was familiar. I knew it from somewhere. He adds, I went to my car and as they came out of the shop, I just filmed them. I think they walked out through a gate 
of the grounds and then just vanished. I didn't see the car. I just wanted to share with my family footage and show how normal they were. I do find the person who filmed this video and the way that they spoke on it to be very interesting because they said at first they didn't recognize that it was her. So I find it interesting that that is the one person that recorded this video is someone who didn't recognize her at first, but nobody else recorded anything. Now, I'm not saying that this isn't real. TMZ shows some evidence that this photo was taken with an iPhone 12 Pro on March 16th at 12.43 p.m. Obviously, things like this can be edited. You know, maybe they were pushed to write this, but nonetheless, you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think in the comments down below about these new pictures and videos that were posted of Kim. I saw that they are saying there was an insider from BBC who I guess leaked some information that BBC was notified that there would be a huge royal announcement in the next few days. I mean, there may be an announcement that comes out when I post this video, because as of right now, there hasn't been anything, but we're getting up to that 72 hour mark where people have been saying that there's supposed to be some huge information that the BBC is going to release. But you can't even know if that's true because there's just been so much speculation going on. I don't know about you, but my head is spinning. I am in shambles. Okay, everything has just been so weird. I'm like, what is really going on? What is being hidden? What is the truth? What is a lie? I mean, everything going on with Kate to King Charles cancer diagnosis at the same time to someone else a part of the royal family passing away in bizarre circumstances. People have been wondering why her family has not come out and said anything. Why, do, why they don't seem concerned. To that I say it's probably because they know what's going on and either there's nothing to be concerned about and or they know what's happening. You know what I mean? Like if they didn't know what was going on and like her mom and her sister hadn't seen her or weren't aware of what was happening, of of course, I feel that they would be in shambles over it. Now, I didn't know this, but at the time that all of this is going on, Kate Middleton's uncle is currently appearing on Celebrity Big Brother UK. Now, Celebrity Big Brother is a show, it's like a competition show, but there's a lot of live footage. Like you can get on the website and you can watch the live cams and you know see the conversations in real time. I'm not watching, so I don't know if this was a part of an episode that aired or if this was something that was recorded from the live cams. But Kate Middleton's uncle was having a conversation with Ekin Sue, who is another reality TV show star. She was from Love Island. Um, he's having a conversation with her and she asks him, where is Kate? Now, before I show you this clip, I just wanna say, I don't talk to any of my uncles. So, you know, whether one of my uncles talked to my mom or something like that, they they don't speak to me. So any information that my uncles would have about me wouldn't be from me. So you have to kind of take it with a grain of salt. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of us aren't close with your aunts and uncles. They might hear things through the grapevine or, you know, kind of like telephone game through the family as the family gossips about a situation, but they not, may not know the full story because they haven't directly spoken to you. I just want to put that out there, but he did say that he knew something. And we're going to watch this clip together because I found this to be very interesting that he seems to know some information from her mom that he has spoken to, from Kate Middleton's mom. Let's watch this clip really quick. Can I ask you a question? What's, where's Kate? So because she doesn't want to talk about it. We can't talk about it. I, I, the last thing I'm going to do is, th there's there's the kind of code of etiquette. Uh, if, if, if it's announced, I'll give you an opinion. I know I spoke to her sister, her mum, my sister. She's getting the best care in the world. And all the, the family's done is put the wagons around and look after family first before anything else. But I do think they put, in a, they put a statement out and just said, we just take some time to recoup and we'll see you in Easter. But she's, she's, she's amazing. She'll be back. Of course she will. He says that he has spoken to, and this is real footage. This is from Celebrity Big Brother UK. And I have only been able to find this clip from one account on Twitter, okay? So I haven't seen this clip anywhere else. I tried to search it up. There's no articles about this clip. There's nothing. This is from Celebrity Big Brother. And he says he has spoken to Kate Middleton's mom. And he seems to know some big information and said that Kate is getting the best care in the world, which means 
she's getting some sort of care and help right now for something that she's going through, which yes, could be the, the planned abdominal surgery, probably is the planned abdominal surgery because that's what they said is that she had one. That happened, what, the end of December or beginning of January? It's almost April. It's the middle of March. What is currently going on with her that is taking her months to recover where she still needs the best care in the world? And he said that the family is just surrounding her and focusing on her. Does anyone else see how mind-blowing and bizarre this clip is? I feel like there is more information in that alone than anything else that I have seen because that tells me there is something going on. And he said if they release that information, he will give his opinion on it. So he has an opinion on something that's happening. I don't know. It seemed like he was skirting around something, but he knows. That tells me everyone in Kate's family knows she is alive, but I'm not entirely sure if she's doing well, if she's currently getting care for what she's going through. I feel concerned and I'm kind of, every time I get online, I'm a little bit scared because like, what am I gonna see? I just don't know. I feel like maybe they're not saying anything because they don't know what's happening yet. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if they're even fully aware, so they're not saying, like in that clip that I showed in my previous video, which I'll show right here for you again if you missed it, William's responding to this guy, but as soon as he asks where Kate is, he doesn't say anything. Like how hard is it to just say she's okay? And then people are saying, you know, everybody needs to stop speculating, stop asking questions, they'll let us know when they're ready, but I mean, she is the princess. So of course people are gonna be concerned. And honestly, people should be really glad that people are concerned because if something bad did happen to her and nobody cared or questioned anything, then I feel like that would be the most concerning, right? I can't even express to you the way that I felt when I found that clip. I was like, of all times for somebody that is a part of Kate's family to be on a show that gets live streamed happens to be at the time when all of this is going on and there's a clip of him talking about it and he's spoken to Kate's mom, who was a direct connection to her, I don't know. Interesting timing. One thing that I wanna show here is that I actually found this video where someone is talking about another Photoshop photo with the queen before she passed away, where um, they have found that this photo has actually been heavily edited as well and I will show you guys right here, as you can see, there is a moment right here on the queen's skirt where you can see a line going through it and it's a little glitch issue that we had in the photo that Kate released. And I believe that this picture Kate actually took. They have been doing some heavy edits on the royal family's photos, even before the one that Kate released. And maybe that explains why they released it under the condition that it was in because they've released pictures like this and no one noticed these issues. So let's go ahead and watch this video right here where this woman who is a photographer points out why one of the children was actually edited into this photo and is not actually there. It's been a minute since I made a video. Happy 97th birthday, Queen Elizabeth. We got this picture taken by Catherine, Princess of Wales. It's a very nice, super cute picture. All the great grandchildren, some of the grandchildren, super cute. Here's one thing though, Louis was photoshopped into this picture and I will tell you why. So first thing is that I'm a photographer and I understand how light works on people's faces and in rooms. So we start off and we look at Lucas, the light source is coming from this direction. You can tell by his face, it's lit up on that half. Same with her, same with George, the queen. Basically everyone has one side of their face that's a little bit more illuminated because there's a window over here obviously that's brightening brightening up the room from that direction. And everyone's shaded on the other side. But if you look at Louis, he has another light source that isn't accounted for in terms of the light that's actually in that room. So here on the top of his head, you see that bright spot. And if that bright spot were in the room, you would see it also on the couch. It would be giving a halo to Savannah and it would probably be on um, the Tyndall girl's shoulder as well. So that light source is not in that room, which means that he wasn't in that room. Also, if you look super duper close, 
on his shoulder right there, you can see where some of the rose, the coloring from the rose is coming on to his shirt because they tried to blend him in and it didn't do a perfect job because you can see a little bit is on his shoulder and that doesn't happen naturally. Also, there's just some like weird blurriness over here by the couch, which just makes me think that there was more blending going on. And I know people are going to come for me and be like, why does it matter? It doesn't really matter at the end of the day, no. But when everyone who is into the royal family is obsessed with who's lying and who's being truthful and what's being what's genuine and what isn't, this is a moment that didn't actually happen. If you're photoshopping people into pictures, this this picture isn't genuine. So this moment didn't happen. They're trying to pass it off as though it did. So take that as you will, but just just some food for thought, I suppose. Regardless, it's a cute picture. So I do find it interesting because even on the arm over there of that side of the chair, it doesn't match up with the other one. It looks like it's very edited. And in pictures like this, every single child is smiling you know there had to be some edits. And I will also say this, does it matter in the grand scheme of things? It really does not matter. But the reason why I'm including it in this video is because when the one came out with Kate and her children, when people were wondering where she was, is she okay? One of my biggest questions about that photo was why would they release it under the um, condition that it was in because it was so heavily edited and there were so many glitches in it and issues and mistakes and I couldn't understand why when people were already you know looking at everything with Kate under a magnifying glass why they would release that picture like that but apparently that is not the first one and that's probably why they did it because pictures like this have come out before that and nobody noticed anything and nobody you know raised an issue but um, this is something that they have been doing and I still don't personally believe that Kate edited it when they're trying to say that she is trying to recover from her abdominal surgery. I just can't picture her sitting there like photoshopping a picture like that on Mother's Day. Um, that's just me personally and I definitely have an issue with them having her take the blame for that when I don't believe that she did that. However, that picture was credited to her so she did take that photo but it's interesting because what picture did she actually take like who was actually there and who wasn't there because that picture is kind of constructed together and pieced together in editing. It's not really a full picture. These are where the videos get wild to me okay let's go ahead and watch this video and then i'll tell you what i think about it after update on kate middleton from one of her attorneys this is from her lawyer jeffrey i believe she's unalive kate middleton's lawyer confirms what no one knew until now now there's five attorneys this is one of her attorneys the one that she keeps around all the time he said he's going to be forced to report on it if he doesn't hear from her soon I mean, it's not even me saying it now. I've been saying it. I've been, I do try to tell y'all motherfuckers, but now it's the attorney for her. And he specifically name dropped on Camilla Parker. She needs to be looked into. That's what, anyway, let me scooch over from the UK two days ago. Go watch that. We already know that this picture from William, he was the source of the photo, has been heavily photoshopped. Reuters, Reuter, Associated Press, uh, France, all of them are pulling the picture down. They have gave it a skill notice. That was what was worded in the article. It said skill notice. And we all know that it was on Sky News. I'm just saying. And then now we have, I believe she's unalive. Kate Middleton's lawyer confirms what no one else knew until now. Hmm. Why would a lawyer be saying that? Especially the one named Jeffrey that she keeps around. There is no direct quote from her lawyer that says that at all. That is people who are spreading that. One person hears that he said that, and then another person hears that he said that, and then people start filming videos about it, and then they get on Twitter and they start typing things up about it, and they're saying it as fact when there is nothing to confirm that that is fact. That is one of those things that I would never believe in a million years until there was something to back that up as factual and there's not. That is one of the rumors that is currently going on, but like a lot of people will see that and they will just think that that means that that's true. The rumors are just getting so out of control with people spreading it as fact. Let's watch some of these. 
where the F is Kate Middleton, part In the delivery of that. What is bothering me is when people hear a little bit of information or hear something through the grapevine, some of these people are just getting emails from anonymous sources saying certain things, and then they get on there and they spread it, and it comes off like they're saying it is fact when it's not fact. They don't know. Like, let's watch another one. F is Kate Middleton, part 26. Now, we have a development to the story that will perhaps tarnish the image of the ever-perfect Kate. Yet, in our quest for truth, we must share it with you all. Is it possible that Thomas Kingston, the handsome husband of Lady Gabriella, became a confidant and shoulder to cry on for the portrayed princess? Is it possible that Kate, in her despair, fell into his strong arms and the solace of his companionship? Sure, he was someone pipidated, but a decade earlier, and these royal circles are small and incestuous beyond belief. We believe that Kate's mental breakdown is not just over William's love child or his vehemence that Rose will not be shunned from their social circles, but also from the sudden and mysterious death of the one man she could trust. Let's not forget that she's also trying to recover from a very real health crisis. When Kate broke down and stopped being someone the palace could control, we are being told the palace intentionally posted the Photoshop Mother's Day photo to remind her that they can make her a laughing stock at any minute and completely control the narrative. And we all know Picture Perfect Kate is nothing if not scrupulous about her image. We believe Kate is currently being told to get in line and control herself. Yet she cannot maintain any sense of composure, which is why we cannot see her face or hear her voice for even a second. We hope this is all wrong and a wild fantasy, a strange collective dream. Yet unfortunately, the word we continue to receive is that all of this is true. What's that phrase? History repeats itself. This is starting to bother me, okay? Because if there is actually something truly wrong where she is, you know, recovering from an abdominal surgery or going through a really difficult time, when people get on and make videos like this, that is just, what word could I use to describe it? I just feel like it's disgusting. It seems like some of these people, especially on TikTok, are like excited to spread this misinformation and to create this content off of it where they're saying things as if it's fact, but you listen and it's like, did you write this script like you're coming up with like a play? Like this is someone's life. There is a difference in reporting on information that you're hearing and saying stuff like this. William killed her lover, Thomas Kingston, bludgeoned him to death. I've decided it's a timeline shift and Kate is a Mandela effect. This feels like modern Game of Thrones. Like it's these people that are creating content off a situation that I truly believe is probably very serious. And I find videos like this and the way that this content is being created over the situation offensive. This other account, it gives me the same vibes. And 
the misinformation that is being spread as fact on this account is also extremely bothersome. Kate Middleton was recently stabbed and that's why she was actually in the hospital and we've got proof. Guys, make sure and click the plus sign. I'm gonna have more on this you don't wanna miss. Sound off in the comments. Kate Middleton was recently stabbed and that's why she was actually in the hospital and we've got proof. Guys, make sure and click the plus sign. I'm gonna have more on this you don't wanna miss. Sound off in the comments and tell me what you think, but rumors and theories are swirling and I wanna give you guys updates on what people are saying and what we're finding. So, if you go watch the last couple videos I've had, I have showcased that people are saying there are possible DV issues when it comes to Kate and William because of the injuries she had later this year and then suddenly she's in the hospital and William showing up having bruises on him. Now people are saying that they think other things happened with this abdominal issue that she's apparently having. With Thomas Kingston all of a sudden being unalived or he unalived himself, people are thinking because it looks like there are issues with DV with these two. Is it a situation where William or others actually found Kate and they found Thomas Kingston? And in that, Thomas Kingston was unalived and she was actually stabbed in the gut. And is this why her recovery keeps saying, oh, it's gonna take so much longer and so many more weeks and so many more months and that this is an actual thing happening. Now, I'm not saying this is the case, but I am saying there are so many interesting theories and there's so many interesting pieces of information surrounding it. I don't necessarily wanna say it's evidence, but I wanna say things look weird with these two. I wanna know, what do you guys think? Do you think that there was a tussle? He was unalived and she got stabbed? I mean, we know when it comes to things like Diana that the palace isn't always the best or they have done some very weird things and shady things. My thoughts are that I find it interesting that at the beginning of that video, she said, we have inside information. But then when she continued to talk, she just said, some people are saying, you just saw some speculation that people made in a comment or on Twitter probably and decided I'm gonna make a video out of that. <laughs> That's what happened with that one. It's interesting because they'll make that video saying maybe she was stabbed, but then they'll also make this one with a completely different story. Hanbury is pregnant with Prince William's child and he is kicking Kate out and taking the kids. What is happening and what is going on? Guys, make sure and click the plus sign. I'm gonna have more on this you don't wanna miss. Sound off in the comments and tell me what you think, but one of the theories that's surrounding where's Kate and what's happened to Kate is this. So we know that Kate, at least this is what we're told, right now is recovering with family and that she took the kids and she took them out of school. But here's the backstory. Apparently William has been with this woman, Rose Hanbury, who is one of Kate Middleton's friends. And apparently she is pregnant with his child right now. And so William, who's been dating her since about 2019, at least from what we've been aware, is now ready to go with her and wants to take the kids which is why Kate is doing exactly what she's doing. She's trying to create a media uproar so the media can see what's going on, people can start talking, and Prince William can get scared and go. Everything that Kate is doing right now is that so she can try to keep control of the narrative and control of her kids and make all of this media attention a bargaining chip. I wanna know, what do you guys think about this thought? What do you think about this rumor? There are so many going on. I don't know what's true, but these are very interesting. Tell me your thoughts, guys. Sound up in the comments. I think if you don't know what's true, you need to start saying allegedly and not deliver these stories you're getting as facts because the delivery in these, I have a big issue with. I truly feel like there is something serious going on. And so seeing people create this content where they're smiling or laughing or using this intense music behind it, kind of making like this joke out of it. And it's like, if there is something serious going on, like, what are you doing? I have an issue right now with these accounts that are like spreading this information as if it's fact. I think it's really harmful. There's a difference in like speculating on the information that's out there and then creating content, forming an entire story out of the speculation and delivering it as if it is factual. There is dangers to this type of content on social media. We have evidence that William and Kate are actually in a DV relationship and they've been injuring each other and it's all out there for the public to see. Guys, make sure and click the plus sign. I'm gonna have more on this you don't wanna miss. Sound off in the comments and tell me what you think. But as you know, it's been a huge uproar on where Kate is because she's been missing from the public eye. 
and everything with the palace and what they're putting out are lies and very concerning. Now go check out my first video because in the first video I showed that in September that Kate had a couple different finger issues back to back where she literally had them taped and you could see things were injured twice in a row. Then December 28th, we have an ambulance leaving the palace, but there were no words for it. Well, I want you to take a look at then this photo of William right after he canceled an event for personal reasons. Check this out. This was taken of William, which I'm about to show you, where it says that this was right after he had canceled that engagement for personal reasons, but he then shows up a few days later with visible bruises on his face and neck. And you can see it here, and here's a clearer shot. Look at that on his neck. Now, some people are saying that's indicative of the cheating because that indicates hickeys, possibly. But considering all of these injuries and all these sudden health issues, and then she's hospitalized, and with the rumors that these two have a volatile relationship, we're wondering if there's some merit to this. I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me your thoughts and sound off in the comments. I've got more comments. What I think is that the rumors and the theories and how people are spreading the information is getting entirely out of hand and it's very concerning. I do feel like something is going on, especially after seeing the clip of Kate's uncle on Celebrity Big Brother, he seemed to know something. But I feel like people delivering certain information as fact before there's enough information is dangerous and it's a bit concerning how many people will see things like this and then believe it. Like it's one thing to sit there and speculate on what's out there with your friends, but it's an entire other thing to film videos like this where you say it as fact and don't make it very clear that it's a rumor. Video for all my Kate Middleton friends out there. You guys have been sucker punched because all of you with all your conspiracy theories are looking in the wrong directions. So I used to work in celebrity tabloids and it was my job to know about what was happening with every single celebrity and royal out there. So I am well attuned to following stories like this. I also was given a bird's eye view of what was really happening behind the scenes and the narratives that were playing out for the public. And that's exactly what's happening here. So I still stay in touch with a lot of my sources and some of them are still in that royal circle. And I wanna share with you the real story that's going on. So let's get the Kate part out of the way right off the bat. The truth is, is that Kate did have surgery and the word on the street is that she has had really bad colitis and required uh, was required to have a bowel resection. And so she has a colostomy bag. Typically the recovery for that is 12 weeks if everything goes well. If you are up on your news here, we know that about a week and a half ago, there was an ambulance that went to their residence and I don't know if they took care of her or took her out of there, but that is an indication that something did not go right with her recovery. Kate was supposed to attend a royal event in June. Last week, the end of last week, she was taken off of the guest list further adding to the speculation that the recovery or something with the colostomy bag is not going right. So based on that information, it is understandable why a woman who is typically out in the public eye has a very slim figure and wears very tailored clothes would not want to be seen in public. The woman is deals with a level of scrutiny on the day to day with her outfits and her looks that I can't even imagine her wanting to, to go out with a colostomy bag. Would you? The answer is no. Part of what I'm also hearing is that a lot of this colitis issue has been brought on by an eating disorder. I cannot confirm that, but if that is the case, I could understand why the royal family would be hesitant to even talk about that considering the, the history with Diana's eating disorder and just sort of the trauma around all of that. So why does the royal family continue to bungle the press leak, you know, put out photos that are obviously doctored, like not just address the issue at hand. 
on one hand, they could say, hey, listen, Kate deserves privacy. She is, at the end of the day, a woman who is a mother and a, a, a wife and deserves to have her health care be a private personal issue. And I agree with that. And probably why they said it was abdomen surgery and didn't want to get into the nitty gritty of it. But then there's this bad doctored photo and these like press releases that say something but don't say something and even people speculating whether it was her in the car with her mother like it's just gone completely off the rails the royal family is pretty buttoned up most of the time so why would they allow all of this to happen that's the real question you should be asking so let's go back to when this all started the same week that kate went into the hospital so did King Charles, and King Charles was diagnosed with cancer. It's a pretty serious cancer, but they said they caught it early and he was gonna go into treatment and everything was gonna be A-OK. -okay. And even though he's the king, we haven't heard a word, any updates since. And then two weeks ago, when William was supposed to give a speech at his godfather's funeral and he backed out, it became like, ugh, everybody was talking about it. There's so much speculation about the reasons why he would back out. like. Was it an affair? Were they getting divorced? Were things bigger, a bigger issue? And nobody was talking about the fact that the same week, Camilla backed out of all of her royal engagements. So while you're looking over here at Kate and William, no one is looking over here at King Charles. And that's exactly what King Charles and his entire royal household want. They don't want anybody talking about how ill he possibly could be because if that happens if his treatment isn't going well then he goes from not being a new king he goes to being a lame duck king where everybody's counting down the days until he dies and william takes over and while it sucks that on appearance that kate would take the fall for all this and shoulder this narrative it is only going to work out for her in the long run because when she finally rallies, the world, the adoring world is going to be just loving her. It will solidify her role, not only in the royal household, but also in Britain worldwide. The one who's losing out here is William because now he's an adulterer, he fathered a child, he let Kate take the blame for a bad Photoshopping job. Like he's just, he's screwed. So that's the real story. Kate's gonna be fine. She's gonna be better than fine when she emerges from all this. King Charles, on the other hand. I will say at the end of that, that that is also just speculation. But I feel like with everything that I've heard, like every video that I've seen people make about it, that one to me seems the most likely. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think in the comments down below, but I just feel personally annoyed with some of the content people has been creating off of this and the way they've been choosing to deliver the rumors as fact. Their delivery, their wording of it, it's bothering me. Um, I, it almost comes off like people want it to be something that bad, so bad, so that they have something to talk about. It's just gotten wild. I'm very curious to see if there there will be an announcement because we're coming up to the end of that. I mean, the day that I post this video, that announcement could have come. I don't know. You don't hear me talking about that in this video and something did come out. Just know I didn't know about it at the time of filming this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about all of this. There's definitely been some interesting things to talk about in today's video. If you would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my updates. Also, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what do you think is going on? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon for another video.